about it, my name is Pete, I'm from Florida. I'm going to try to explain how what I set up. I'm using a boy, boy lab, boy lab for boys over IP lab, and how to make a configuration of all the devices, routers, switches, computers, and phones. This is basically what I have over in here. This is my ISR router, integrated service router, the one that has quality of service, basically to segregate uh, voice and prioritize over data. This is another one that I have. This is going to be used for this DHCP server. This is going to be connecting between both of them eventually. This is a catalyst switch that we're going to have quality of service. It's a layer 3 switch, not a layer 2, a layer 2 switch. Um, this is going to be using for uh, quality of service, as I mentioned before, any kind of secret, it got capabilities, phone capabilities to segregate voice over data as well. And this is our phone that, I, that we have so far. It's a boy phone. It's a Cisco 2940 series. It's, an, it's a pre-standard AO2.38F series. That means that it doesn't have power over here internet series uh, capability, but it can do some connectivity as well as we could see eventually. So, let's start figuring out everything. Well, before everything, uh, this is going to be a two series one part of it is going to be talking about how we physically connect everything, um, how do we set up everything, and after that we're going to try to explain how we configure everything. The reason that we did this video was because I made a lot of mistakes, a box of stuff that I didn't need, I one day want to overpay for a lot of different stuff, and I want to explain how did I do that, and hopefully everything is going to be explained to you, and you don't make the same mistake that I made. So let's start jumping into that right away. Uh, let's go to the more simple stuff. How I'm going to connect everything together from my computer to the switches to the router. I make sure that you understand everything from the more simple stuff. So the more simple stuff that I found right now. The cable. This is a CAD5. It could be a CAD6 cable. And you have a, a, this is the one that we're going to use to connect from our computer to the switch, from the switch to the router or from to the switch to the phone or from the router or from the router to the computer or from the phone directly as I say to the switch or to the computer itself or the computer to the switch. Never confuse this with the RJ11. The RJ11 is the old kind of phone system I have. Look how thin it is and look the interface. <coughs> the different side, how different they are. So, don't make the same mistake. As well, this is a crossover cable. This is going to be used to connect, for example, this to router, router to router, or switch to another different switch. Never get confused. It says over here, crossover cable. So, this is going to be used for a complete different purpose. So, remember, CAD file internet cable, two different devices and this one crossover to similar devices. So besides that kind of stuff we're gonna be using for the common stuff over here to make sure that uh, the comp your computer gonna have the configuration. A cat five cable, look how thin it is and the blue color and we're gonna connect this to the port blue port over here in the com in, in the router that's a console cable. Look how blue it is as well. It's going to be your mark over here so you can tell the difference or to the back of your switch as well. In the blue part it says console cable, as you can see over here. Now we see the different kind of cables. This cable over here, the special cable, it, co it comes with this device. This device is a special device that I have over here. It's our, uh, this cable over here is a, U a USB adapter from USB 2.9 adapter over here. And we are going to connect over here to the console cable. After we connect this to the console cable, give me two seconds, we're going to connect this to the computer. 
these devices over here have a special shape. Make sure that you don't buy the cheapest one. I spent one year without touching my own personal device because I didn't have this. I bought the cheapest one from China. And not necessarily it comes with a chip inside that made possible that you can use the right, your routers and switches. So this one is very special stuff that you need to ask for Amazon or whatever on any special device. You don't find this on regular stores. So after you got this everything together over here, uh, we're going to jump into the connection of everything. So we got already connected the console cable on the back of the switch, as you could see previously. And we are going to connect from the port, fast internet port 0 1, this is 0 0, to the first port over here of our of our switch. This is kind of important. And now we are going to connect from our phone system. And you're going to see over here that it's connected over here on the part that I say, well, on the top it say switch. And on the other side over here, say PC, make sure that you connect the one, the cable that let's say switch directly to the switch of the network over here to your switch. And now you have different connections already. So you have connected this part over here from here from the router to the switch to the switch to the phone over here on the back. Now the phone begins. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you have already connected as well the cable, the console cable directly connected to your computer through the special uh, and the special uh, DB9 to USB adapter and now we are going to connect the phone system that we have over here over here and you're going to see the how, how this phone start picking up you're going to see the red light over here that is picking up the red light over here that is being that is reading and as well it's gonna start picking up the VLAN configuring VLAN that means that automatically is segregating the, the switch is picking up the VLAN the voice VLAN instead of, of the data VLAN and it's separating the two stuff so it's green right now, it can read that there is, there is a special VLAN for this phone and it's configuring everything and everything is ready and everything is working fine and it's picking up. So ladies and gentlemen, now that you are reading this talk, we are going to step into the second process of this video and I just want you to understand what I try to achieve, a segregation between voice VLAN and data VLAN and how do you have the proper equipment and hopefully it's going to be informative for you and thank you very, very much for watching in case that you have any question please over here at the bottom say Victor I want to know how to do this stuff just ask and I'll be more than glad to answer all your questions have an excellent day and I hope that God help you through the rest of the day bye